my channel. This is Mary T. Channel. Or you can call me Beauty Mary, anyone you choose to. On today's tutorial, I'll be cutting a long gown, an off shoulder long gown. It's my clothes, and I'm cutting it for my day, my traditional day, as a evil woman, which I am. So I'll be cutting three steps long gown. The upper side will be an off shoulder and it will have padded. Then from new, it will have new flare. And that will be three, uh, three step flare. So looking at the clothes I have here, this is where I'll be cutting it with. This is the material I'll be cutting it with. And here is the lining. This is the lining. So guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Then comment on my channel. Drop your comment. Drop your comments on my comment box. Like my video, share my video. Guys, I will start from cutting the from my shoulder down to the new length. So from my shoulder to the new length is 35. So I will my lost the half length, which is 16 inches. 35 minus 16. I'll have 19 inches. I'll have 19 inches. So then I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. So that will give me 20 inches. So I'll mark out the 20 inches. So after marking out the 20 inches, I'll now mark my hip line. So from here, here will serve as the waistline. From the waist down to the hip, I'll be using 9 inches. You can use 8 inches or 10 inches, depending the height of the person. So the waist measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inches. Then I'll be adding 1 inch for the that allowance and 2 inches for sewing allowance. That will give me 12 inches. Then the hip measurement is 42 divided by 4 will give me 10 and half plus 2 inches sewing allowance. That will give me 12 and half. But I will make it a round number 13. So since I mark 13 on the hip, I will my last 1 inch one inch from the 13 then i'll have 12 inches left so i'll mark that 12 inches to the damp part so after marking the 12 inches then i'll connect the both lines using my free hand you can use your ruler if you have one so after that i'll mark my dart the dart the length of the dart is four by six the width is 4, the length is 6. So after marking the line, I'll mark half inch to the both side. I'll be holding that half inch to sew it, and I'll connect it down to the 6 inches. That will serve as my dart. So after cutting this, the next thing now is I'll cut it out. After cutting it out, I'll use it to trace the back, adding my zipper allowance. So I have cut it out. The next thing is to trace the back. Guys, I added one and a half inch for the zipper allowance. That will be enough for me. You can add two inches or more than that if you want. So after that, I will now cut it out. So after 
after that, I will cut the zipper allowance open. So guys, this is the lining. I'm cutting this tutorial with the lining. So I'll use this lining to trace it out on the main fabric, the less fabric which I show you. So I will now cut out the half length. After cutting the half length, I will now trace it on the fabric. So guys, to cut the half length, remember I told you it's an off shoulder gun. So the half length is 16 inches and I will be adding one inch for the sewing allowance. So I will have 17 inches. And because it's an off shoulder gun, I will be my losing five inches. You can my loss four inch if you don't want it to go down. You can my loss six inches if you want it to go down. So it depends on your choice. But on this one, I'll be my losing five inches. So from that five inches, looking at my tape, you see I place my five inches on the line. From that five inches, I will mark the seventeen inches, which I have for the half length. So after marking the line, I will now insert the nipples to me nipples measurements. I'm cutting the front padded first before the back one. So the nipples to nipples measurement is eight. Eight divided by two will give me four inches. But I will be adding one inch for zipper allowance. That will give me eight and half. That will give me nine inches. Sorry. Then nine divided by two will give me uh, four and half. So I'll be marking my four and a half, or rather four inches, depending. If you don't want to add your sewing allowance, you can still mark your four inches directly. So I marked four inches. But for the safety of this video, for me not to have lesser fabric, I think I prefer marking four and a half. Reason I mark four inches is for you to know that you can make use of your normal nipples to nipples measurement without adding any sewing allowance. You can still get exactly what you want. So I mark my four and a half. Sorry for marking four inches at the first place. So the next thing now, I will insert the underboss and the boss point. The underboss is 18 inches, while the boss point is 9 and a half. So from the underboss, I will mark 1 inch to the both side, helping me to get the nice curve for the padded. So the 1 inch I'm marking for the both side is that line. It will serve as a that line on the video so after marking that I will connect the line down to the boss point so after that I will mark one inch to the upper side the shoulder line I will mark one inch to the both side and I will connect it down to the boss point I have so many lines here, but I hope you understand what, I, what I'm doing. So the next thing after that, I will now insert the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 15 divided by 2 will give me 7 and a half. But because I will cut out these 2 inches, I will add it, giving me 9 and a half. Then I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance. That will give me 10 and a half. Then the bust line, to get the bust line, I'll place my tape on the 5, then I'll mark 9 inches. I'll be using the same 9 inches for post line. Remember my bust point is 9 and a half. So I'll now insert the bust measurement, which is 38 divided by 4. Will give me 9 and a half. Then 9 and a half, I'll be, I'll, my last half inch here, so I'll add it up here, giving me 10. Then I'll be using 4 inches for sewing allowance. That will give me 14. The waist measurement is 36 divided by 2. Divided by 4, sorry, will give me 9. 
and I will add up these two inches which I'm going to cut out it will give me 11 plus 4 inches sewing allowance I'll have 15 so I will connect the lines then from here my shoulder line I'll connect my armhole so guys this is what I have for the poster the upper part so I'll be cutting it out for you to see where I marked and for you to understand what I'm explaining. Guys, I'll be cutting this directly from this line. I won't be cutting it directly from the line. You can cut yours directly from the line. For my, I won't be cutting it that way. I have my reason though, but I will be carrying the ambo. So guys, after cutting it out, I will now launch the underboss. Reason for this is for you to be able to trace out the underboss while sewing it. So I'm done for the front cutting. Now I will cut the back. Remember, your zipper allowance is very, very important. Because if you don't add it, you will have no choice than not to add zip and it's not done there is no way you can sew clothes without attaching zipper if you don't attach your zipper there is no way you're gonna wear it remember i have to my loss my five inches to get the back So after marking my 17 inches, the next thing is to mark the zipper allowance one and a half. After this, I will now insert the shoulder measurement, which is 15 divided by 2, give me 7 and a half. Then after that, I will mark the bust line, which is 9 inches. So the bust measurement is 38 divided by 4, which is 9.5 plus 4 inches sewing allowance. That will give me more than that. But since this is the back, I won't be adding 4 inches sewing allowance as I add at the front. So here I will be adding 3 inches sewing allowance, which will be 9.5 plus 2, uh, 3 inches. I will have 12.5. Then the waist is 36 divided by 4, which will give me 9 inches plus 3 inches sewing allowance, plus 3 inches sewing allowance, sorry. That will give me 12 plus 1 inch for the dart. I will have 13. I will connect the lines. After connecting the line, I will come in here by 1 inch. From the shoulder line, I will come in by 1 inch. From that one inch, I will now curve my armhole. After marking my armhole, the next thing is to insert the dart measurement. So to get my dart, the width is four inches and the length will be five inches. You can make your dart more than five or lesser than five, depending the height of the person. So after that, I will mark half inch to the both side from the waistline. After marking half inch, I'll connect it down to the five inches, which I mark on up. So after this, I will now be cut, I'll cut it out. But before cutting it out, I will bring down the neck because I don't want the neck to go high. So I'll bring down the neck by two inches and I'll connect it down from shoulder to the neck. So guys, this is what I have for the back. I will now cut it out. Remember, I added my zipper allowance. So 
So I'll cut my zebra allowance open. So guys, after this, the next thing is to trace it all out on the fabric. So I'll move down to the tracing of it. After tracing it, I will show you all of it. All right, guys. This is the center front. I've already cut out the material. This is the front, the side. I've already cut it out. So I'll comb it with. I'll comb it together. So this is it all. Here is the lining. I've cut out every down in both the lining, the fabric. Then here is the skate. I also cut it all out. So the next thing now I'll do is I'll gum it. After gumming it, then I'll start sewing. But before I proceed on the sewing, I want to cut out the new flare first. I'll be cutting out the new flare. Then after cutting out the new flare, I'll move down to the sewing. So guys, the length of the gown is 65. So I've already my last 35 for the from the shoulder down to the new length. It's 35. So I have 30 inches left. And that 30 inches will be for the flare. So since I'm cutting three flare, the third flare will be 30 inches. Then I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. The second flare will be 20 inches. Then I'll be adding one inch for the sewing allowance. And the first flare will be 10 inches plus one inch sewing allowance, which is 11. So the one I'm cutting now is the last flare, which is the length is 30 inches. Then I'll be adding one inch for the sewing allowance. Okay. So the, the hip of the gown is 42. So since this is the new length, the, the flare will start from the new length. I'll my last two inches from the hip. So I'll divide, if I my last two inches from what I have on the hip, which is 42 minus 2, I'll have 40. If I divide 40 inches by 4, I'm cutting the flare by 4, but I fold it by 2. So after cutting this one, I'll cut another one, making it 4. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I'll divide the 40 inches by 4, which will give me 10. So I will now use a number that I will mark in order to get the 10 inches. So first of all, I will mark 5 inches. Then after marking the 5 inches, I will measure it to know if it is able to give me 10 inches. So looking at what I have, I've already marked 5. I will measure it to know if I am able to get 10 inches. So what I have here is eight one quarter so it's not enough i will now mark six i'll mark six all round to get ten so after marking the six i will now measure it to know if i am able to get ten so right now I have 10 as you can see. So from this 10 I will now mark my 31 inches. Remember 30 inches is the length, then 1 inch is for sewing allowance. I'll mark my 31 inches all around. So I'm marking my 31 inches all around for the third
guys, looking at what I marked from here, you see, from here down here is my 31 inches. I hope you can see it. So now I will cut it out. After cutting it out, I will use it to trace out another flare of the same size so that it can be able to give me a round flare, which is by four. Remember, I folded by two. So let me cut it out. So guys, I've cut this out. I hope you can see it. So I am cutting another one to make it a very big round flare. So guys, I'll move to cut the second one. So after cut, uh, cutting it, I will now show you the final look of it all. Then after cutting the second one, remember I have open here. So I will join them together in order to have a full flare. Guys, to cut the second flare, I've already cut the first flare, which I mean the down flare, which is the last flare of it. Remember I told you I'm cutting three steps. So I've already cut the down one. So this will be the second flare. I'm cutting it with suede, while the upper one will be with the lace. So as I told you, the 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 new the round new is forty. So I folded this word into four. This two, this two, giving me four. Look at it here. One, two, three, four. So I will divide the new round measurement by four, giving me ten. So I need to get a number that I will mark in order to get ten. So I'll mark six to know if it will be able to give me ten all round. So I've marked six. Right now I'll measure the six to know if it is able to give me ten. So I've measured six. Six wasn't able to give me ten. So I'll measure six. I'll mark six and a half. What I have here is nine and a half. So I'll mark six and a half. So I can be able to get ten plus sewing allowance. So guys, I've marked six, six and a half, and I have accurate ten. So ten, I will now the the second flare will be twenty inches by length. The last flare is thirty inches. The second flare is twenty inches, and the first flare will be ten inches. So twenty inches, I will adding one inch for sewing allowance. That will give me twenty one inches. So I'll mark twenty one all round. So guys, I've finished marking it out. This is my line, the line I'm using six and a half, and this is the full length of the second step flare. So guys, I'll be cutting it out. After cutting it out, I'll now, I'll now cut out the first flare. After cutting the first flare, I will show you how to start joining them one after the other. Looking at what I have, this is the lace and the lining. So I've placed the lining on the lace. I want to use it to trace out the lace. After tracing it out, I'll spread it wide and then gum it. I'll use gum to gum it. After gumming it, the next thing is to put crinoline line on it. So guys, this is crinoline. line. I'll be using it to turn the mouth. 
so that is it so now i'll start cutting out the legs So guys, I've cut it out. The next thing now, I'll cut out the the first flay. After cutting it, I'll gum it. Looking at what I have, this is the first flay. The first flay for the gun. Then I'll show you the second flay and the third flay. Remember I told you, it's three-step flay. So I cut this one the same way I cut the other one. So I'll show you those ones. So guys, I hope you can see it. This is the uh, this is the last flare. This is the second flare. That is the suede. And this is the third flare. Hope you see that. So I'll start joining them one after the other. That's what I will do, guys.